What's your thoughts on Super? Um, I'm liking it. I mean, I can't necessarily say liking it, but it's um, it's interesting. I'm definitely uh, I have a bet with somebody about Vegeta taking that this upcoming L, you know, because he just got a new form or whatever. Wow, but wow, the disrespect. Gang, gang. Who really a fact? You think even though he got a new form, he's going to get the, the anime uh, equation to get in his ass whooping in his new form? Yeah, unfortunately, and the only reason I say that um, is because if Vegeta wins, like, so either somebody is going to interject and interrupt the fight, or Vegeta loses, or like there's like another technicality, and he, or like you know, because the writers may try to like give throw the fans a bone, but like if Vegeta won, the arc's over, basically. Yeah. There's still a couple of loose ends to tie up, but if you beat the nigga that just wished himself to be the strongest in the universe, um, again, that just leaves a hole. We're just gonna be going into the next arc, and we just basically started this one. So that's the only reason why I think Vegeta's losing right now. He casually gathers the other two Dragon Ball, <laughs> the other literal two Dragon Balls. Be like, I, I thought I was the strongest. Take, take, give me seven days to live. Yeah, bro, like. <sighs> See, I'd rather them just do, do the toughest thing. Give us the toughest. Bro. Give me baby Vegeta. Well, not even baby. Give me baby Goku. Give me baby Kakarot. That'd be dope. I'm fine with dope. this. We'll see how it goes. I want to see where it goes with uh, Frieza. Um, I want to see how long it takes this guy to realize that Goku and Vegeta are not his enemies, and then what happens with the other fighter that the alien niggas have. The nigga that like is supposed to be a beast um because yeah. i'm sure he'll factor in whenever this guy gets re-nerfed or or whatever and but like that. you probably yeah or you, you're probably right my my fuck around to die yeah because nigga he gave up all his life just to get stronger like yeah i can make you stronger for for your lifespan you like I th okay i thought it was half his lifespan Oh no, nah, that nigga got three le three years left to live. That's why he he's impatient. He's like, nigga, I don't got time to be playing with you niggas, bro. I'm trying to talk to you niggas. You can like, destroy a lot of a lot of niggas in three years. It's gonna be the freezer thing. I think it's gonna be the freezer thing. Like Vegeta gonna beat his ass, and then he's gonna actually talk to him, and then he gonna get his ass stabbed or some boy shot or some bullshit. Yeah, if I was Frieza or if I was Vegeta, I'd be like, look, I will take you to Frieza myself. Alright, alright, fuck listen around. To me. Instant transmission. I'm like, yo, just listen to me. I believe what I'm saying, and I'll take you to this nigga freezer right now. I just call Weiss up. Call Weiss and Bear up and be like, look, nigga. No, he knows instant transmission. Y'all drink. Yeah, yeah but I, just in case he can't pinpoint freezes, to, you know, uh, yeah. energy from another universe, I just be like, yo, take me to where he's at. I never got that. If Goku could fucking planet hop, why the fuck do he be getting on people's ships? Thanks. That shit is so fucking stupid to me. Like, yeah, bro, you got this super strong guy, bro. Get on our ship, bitch. Can't you? Now, when you reference, that? and when you say Planet Hop, I instantly thought about the scene in the original Dragon Ball um, Z Broly movie where he's like searching for Broly and he's like legitimately like space running in instant transmission. Like it's like kind of like showing like him actually like how he travels through like during like the instant transmission or whatever mm -hmm. but like but yeah no that is a fact uh, that is a little weird but you know so it's just for convenience a lot of times like vegeta be standing on the ship on the outside of the ship and like you know motherfuckers be driving it so it's like clearly this nigga don't need to be standing on the ship you know like he could be flying his damn so you about to get so mad at me bro because you remember what? i told you i have not seen the original dragon ball be like episode for episode so i remember the um when i was a kid bro and it was this one kid boost and he he just started fucking blowing up planets and goku was just literally just going planet to planet until he got to some free cow like yeah for we not we can't run them up folks 
We're gonna have to fight this nigga right here, folks. It is it, it is what it is. But I just remember yeah. him actually like just hopping planet to planet and kill. I don't remember teleporting there. to King Kai's planet. Uh, or to um uh Supreme Kai's planet. Um I just don't remember how they re got there. But Yeah, so uh boom. But yeah. Let me see, what did he do? I think he did that vanishing ball he always has in the games. Uh, he did that, blew up the earth, they went to another planet. He he literally um, reconstituted himself. Instant trans, he learned instant transmission, went to the next planet, seeing them, blew that planet up, and they just like repeated that process until they got to Supreme Cairo. That's all I'm like, yeah, they can hop planets, motherfuckers. He's traveling in the fucking rocket ship, bro. They, they all can hop planets. I mean, I won't say all, but yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, you're right. They, I mean, but you know, just for story purposes. Uh, I, of course, yeah. they all can do that, but I'm saying like, in, like as in hop, he can hop greater distances with instant transmission. For sure. And not, a, like, not to your point, Vegeta came too, so. Yeah. So it's like, nigga, you could just be like, yeah, nigga, take your freezer right now. I told you I wouldn't use this, but nigga, I'm not about to keep doing this shit with this nigga, boy. Here, here go your fucking visions right here. Here go the nigga you want, boy. We don't give a fuck about you. We don't give a fuck about him. Go at it. Because that's pretty much how Vegeta <laughs> felt about it, bro. And then dude kept disrespecting Vegeta in the sand. So he just had to tell dude that, like, boy. Nigga, ain't this show your weak ass planet? Oh, y'all remember y'all. Y'all right. like trash. And the show like, bitch ass planet. Yeah. Nigga, dive with the rest, like the rest of your people. Once he said that, then he spit on the ground. I'm out. For he ain't never called this nigga and his people a pack for. Hell no. Nah, right. He ain't never do he a drive by. Walk. He did talk that line. Nigga, that was that was that was some street nigga shit. He was talking like, I don't know, yo, this nigga Vegeta getting dirty. <laughs> and then he got the, the no eyebrow thing going on right now. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm a guy out of destruction. I'm, and I thought about it. Beers has no eyebrows, so like, hey, it is. <laughs> but I definitely I don't know what the fuck that shit gonna do. Yeah, I don't know how. Like about, uh, yeah, I gotta see how it looks in animated form. Yeah, what you color? My, you or or color form? Um, Either Hakai at purple. first I was thinking, yeah, at first I was thinking Hakai purple, dark purplish. Um. Or dark reddish, you know what I'm saying? Like I know there's a Super Saiyan guy, but you know somewhere between the purple red hue, um, or it's his same hair, or it's regular, or his facial features have changed, but not his life and his aura, but not his color, you know. And then when he mastered, it, probably changed like all trans, like some bullshit. Yeah. But it's, uh, what what the fuck happened with his shit? Like. I don't think he. It might be that purple aura, just because that's what Beerus's like god shit is. And, and like you said, yeah, and like you said, um, true, yeah, Antopos, and yeah, that's even a better, even better point. Antopos not like a well, staple character, but he still got that same aura. And um, like you said, even more so, Goku's got the when Goku does his perfected one. You would think his perfected one would be when it's normal hair. Um, because it's like now he's like legit, truly relaxed, but like his perfected one still mimics kind of how Weiss looks with the white hair. So that might be like kind of like symbolism to like who their trainer is, you know. See, what I wanted was uh, I wanted Vegeta to have the purple one, but since Goku can stack kids, whatever form he stack it with, it just turns that form hair to whatever the Master Ultra Instant color, but it still has the spiky features of that very Saiyan form. I say that one more time. So I like I said I wanted Vegeta to have the purple one because I wanted Goku when he stacks his Ultra Instinct with Super Saiyan. I wanted his hair to turn mm. white or well silver, like it does with Ultra Instinct. Mm -hmm. That way he can have it looks like something, but we know it. We can differentiate it. You feel me? For yeah. everything else, animation wise, um, mm -hmm. and then but it still has like the, the regular spiky hair for Super Saiyan, super spiky hair for Super Saiyan two, and then like ultra spiky long hair for Super Saiyan three. But it's just silly. yeah. I hope they ended up changing it down the line because, and I think that is the purpose of them still being training is like to as far as like reaching the perfected forms because yeah. like I don't I, a I don't like blending the, or the fact that they have to blend. Maybe been blending the Super Saiyans isn't as bad because it's just like a physical power up, I guess. But like I feel like once he perfects, like truly perfects. 
ultra instinct he should blow key like it should be it should actually always be a, like uh um, like autonomous kind of like how we use this like you know what i'm saying like he should never really have to like Ultra, like ultra instinct should be base form you know what i'm saying like he should still be doing be able to do ultra instinct shit in base form as far as like the the hand-to-hand -hand combat yeah like, and dodging like dodge shit, shit. And that. yeah like without actually having to use the god key to access ultra instinct and do all right. that other extra shit and seeing shit coming and shit like that right yeah because i'm just thinking getting smacked with the rock that's that's not it Nigga getting hit with a nigga with a laser ring, getting taken out or injured. That shit not it, folks. We can't we can't keep doing this Kakarot. And if you gonna keep getting your ass with, at least let him incapacitate these two bitch ass niggas, both of their ass, so Gohan and Piccolo could get their shine. I'm just saying. Gohan, Gohan a shot, bro. I don't even wanna talk about weak ass Gohan. Hey, I ain't coming to be disrespectful, okay? I, like, I don't get me wrong, I'm a Gohan lover, but fuck Gohan. Hey, you, we seen what happened to the Gohan, bro. That actually trained. Then they got his ass cooked. With one arm. Yeah, bro, nigga weak. Soot. Everybody's weak, besides Goku and Vegeta, basically. And, hey, they, it has the, the Naruto complex, bro. The I don't want to no. develop the entire cast, so everybody wants to be Hokage and there it is I don't want to be develop the entire cast and keep them on par with each other because they can't go Super Saiyan and now that now they're not gods so it's like damn bro we can't even really be going for losing with the shit like if, if Piccolo pop a Kaioken we gonna look at that bro. bro fucking Kaioken bro what right. the fuck are you doing, you namic? At least they're gonna send all these regular niggas to Yard Rat. Looks like the Yard Rats can at least teach everybody else some shit. Pretty much that spirit control? Some spirit shit, exactly. Spirit fissure? Uh, that's the only way I see these humans being relevant at this point, folks. We gonna give our life oh, to punch a kick to these niggas and take their energy. Uh, okay, cool. <laughs> You sounded like the niggas. They're in our dry. Nigga, that's how them niggas talk for the instant. I need your energy. You like, what the fuck? Go cool. I need your energy. I'm like, oh yeah. But Android, nigga, that nigga Android uh, 19 was a different breed, bro. Talk about the fat nigga or the nigga with the mohawk? Uh, fat, fat nigga. nigga. Yeah. The one who's beating up Goku, mohawk. that nigga. Was a different breed, folks. I think he was, it was creepy. Mm, bro, that's the only reason for you. was just like, folk, why are you a mind folk? You obese folk, and you an android folk, nigga. You got the trifecta going on, folk. Nah, I'm not fucking with you, bro. Yeah, why did they build you like this? And then, G, I'm like, damn, this thing got the heart virus and shit. He started getting choked out and shit. Ah, damn, folk, you choking this nigga out in Super Saiyan, G? Once I seen Super Saiyan go off, I'm like, damn, G. I'm not gonna even wanna watch this shit on YouTube no more for I'm turning this shit off, folks. I ain't know this nigga got disrespected this bad. Like, I heard the shit through the video games, nigga, but that nigga got disrespected bad, nigga. I'm dying on <laughs> Drake. He was beating his ass at first, folks. But you did not win that fight, boy. Don't let nobody else tell you different, Android 19, folks. You beat the dog shit like Goku, folks. And the moment you choke a nigga up, it's over with, folks. Right. Like, it's not even the fight, folks. You just little boy that nigga, for you, folks. Stop this shit, bro. Choke that nigga right up. I'm like, damn, dude. Just called him a bitch. Gave him a heart condition after calling him a bitch. And taking his energy and calling him a bitch. I'm like, damn, fool. Can't get no bitches after that, fool. Wait, no. Android 18, though, G. She, she definitely. Nigga, clear cut, though. From the rest, fool. Back in Z. When she kicked Vegeta arm. 180. Yeah, yeah. snap my nigga shit. And that nigga shit permanently like that. It nigga, nigga get hit in the <laughs> rib and hold his, his fucked arm. up arm. I'm like, what the fuck yeah. is going on? <laughs> his hand was stuck in just that awkward position and he oh, was that just nigga. fucked up, bro. You good, but you hit. Yes, Kakarot, I'm good. And you're like, bro, you is fucked up, dog, bro. You need to sit your ass down, bro. No cap. But shit. 